I'm sorry. That I didn't get back to you guys quicker on this whole thing. Sorry, my eye drops are, like, really wet today. I didn't get to my 300 subs video fast enough. In the last four days, another hundred of you subscribed to me, so I'm at 400 now. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you guys. You think I'd do a video without having my skin exposed? It's only been a month since 200 subscribers. I can't wait to see what you guys do in another month. As a thank you to you guys for 400 subs, I'm going to show you how to get Emu Deck, Power Tools, Decky Loader, and even Cryo Utilities on the Steam Deck, Steam Deck OLED in a quick tutorial. Anyway, yeah, thank you so much. Enjoy. This is what I look like from the front, by the way. So you've got yourself a Steam Deck and you don't know what to do. Boy, do I have some tricks for you. First off, what Decky Loader and all that stuff is, we have on this right tab down here a little plug. This is Decky. Here, you can go in. You have different tools you can use to tweak your setting. This little plug here does not come standard. You have to get it installed yourself. I'm going to show you how to do that. You can change things like how many threads you have, set frequency limits, how much charge limit, you know, battery stuff. And also, you can do stuff like deck roulette, where you can play a random game. Yeah, anything. Anything that you have at all. It will play a random game. There's also... Recorders, Retro Achievements, Steam Grid DB, I can speak. Vibrant Deck, ooh, that's a fun one. Mango Peel changes the way that the readout at the top looks, the performance readout. Lots of little things you can mess with. This will show you how to do all of that stuff. Let's get into it. First step, get into game mode. Press the Steam button, power, switch to desktop. Do you have a browser? Do you have a browser that you like? Do you know where it is? If you don't know where it is, you can go down here to discover and then click on internet and you'll have some options here. Pick a browser, any browser, I like Chrome. Go to Chrome. Here is emudeck.com. You type in emudeck.com or type in emudeck on Google. It will bring you here. You have SteamOS, you click SteamOS. Copy the installer to your desktop and then execute it by double clicking it. Once your download is done, you can either click that little arrow up here to show your downloads. I've downloaded it twice. Or you can go down here to the Dolphin tab, your file manager, and click in here. We can minimize this. I'm gonna pick this up. It's easier to do while you're holding it. You can either click it and drag it, move here. You can click with the trigger or you can left click, copy, paste it and paste it on the desktop. Either way it works fine. We don't need to overwrite this because it's the same file. Tap it or press the right trigger and then A. When you first do that, you're not gonna see this screen right here. You're going to see a quick loader. It's going to go through and I'll show you what I remember, what I think I remember it looking like. Here, we have a reinstall button right here for Emudeck. This is what it looks like. Give you some options. We're going on the internal storage because we're here already. That's where all my stuff is. You click next. We're on the Steam Deck, finish. There's a custom um, one where you can pick which of these you like, and then there's an easy or simple one where it picks the ones that most people would want. Or it picks all of them. I can't remember which. All right. We add games, pick your drive. We can skip this for now because this is not what I need. For power tools, let's say you want power tools. We have power tools right over here on the right. You just click it. You make the password. It will have a slightly different thing here. I might be mistaking it just a quick bit, but regardless, I'll walk you through it. We'll get there. If this says create password, cool. If not, we'll, we'll go check the next thing. This will set it all up and it will be in that menu I showed you at the beginning. You can mess with whatever you want there. If not, just scroll down a little bit further. We have decky controls. You go in here, you set that up, you're golden. It will pop up in your game mode. It, you don't have to do anything else. It's done. You're good. Now for cryo utilities. Little side note here. Hello. This is sad from the future. You do need to have four gigs set on your VRAM before you move on forward with cryo utilities to make it work to its fullest. You don't need to. He actually did a stream recently. You don't need it to be at four, but it will give you the best overall experience at four gigabytes. There's a tutorial on how to do it at the end if it's not already set up like that. If you had set it up at one gigabyte, I think you might have to just reset it up to the recommended again once you go back into desktop mode. Anyway, thanks again. How you get there is you either go to the link in the description or you go to github.com slash cryobyte33 slash steam deck dash deck dash utilities or just type cryobyte33 cryo utilities onto Google and this will or should pop up. Once you get here, if you don't know what you're looking at, this could look a little overwhelming. 
you can ignore all of that. You just go over here to latest. Once you go here, you scroll down. You want this one, the top one here. Click it, download, same as before. Once it's downloaded, you can either click the down arrow here or go into your file manager. Click and drag to the desktop. Click to run. Yes, you enter your password. Never do that publicly. I'm gonna pause real quick. There, you didn't see me do it. And then we submit. You will see, oh, this is 2.2.1. I watched him do some of this on the stream recently. By the way, if you haven't checked out Cryobyte33, do check him out. He is awesome, knows what he's doing. He knows way more than I do. Click on recommended. When it comes to Cryo Utilities, you don't have to do anything. You can mess with different settings. Oh, well, I guess I can show you here by clicking them. You have your swappiness. You have memory, how much RAM you're using different storage, where you want things to be, extra game data stuff, and then your VRAM. So my VRAM is set to four gigabytes. That does not come stock four gigabytes. It comes stock with one. I'm not gonna get into that right now, but I will show you how to adjust it. So what we do here is hold for 10 seconds. Make sure you're fully powered down. And then we will hold the volume button and then press the power button until you hear a chime, then you can let go. It tries to cast my display, I'm gonna be upset. It's casting my display. I'm not as upset as I thought I was gonna be. This makes it easier. If you are here, you go to the setup utility. It's not duplicating anymore because that's a different thing. Then you go down to advanced. Scroll down to UMA buffer size, and then you pick your size. You want the four, you pick that, and then you pick save and exit or press the um, select button. It will confirm, you move on, you do your thing. Also, if you're doing undervolting at all, which I'm curious about myself, this is where you do that. Right here, all these three settings. That's a whole nother thing for another video. I've not messed with that yet. I plan to do it soon. Anyway, once that's all done, you'll be set. You're good to go. You're fantastical. Also, I realized that I'm talking right into my mic this whole time and that the mic is peaking and I'm sorry. Those tears at the beginning were real. That being said, thanks again so much for 400 subs. I, I really can't believe this is real. Have fun. Game on. Do some awesome deck stuff. Tag me in some stuff. Whatever, you know? <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Please share this with anyone who might need to learn how to do this. Any exposure is really helpful to me. The sooner I get to a thousand subscribers and start making some money back on this, the sooner I can upgrade my camera and my microphone and stop having this peaking and this clipping and all this crap happen and have better visual fidelity through here. Anyway, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe and share.